hello what's up everybody how's it going so big brother 23 just premiered and i'm so excited to talk about it this cast this season looks amazing this is probably one of my favorite casts that i've seen in a while so far we have a really good mix of personalities and so far i feel that overall everybody's just been super smart like this is a very well educated cast but we'll get into all of that later i'm super excited let's talk about it so the very first person that they introduce on the show is Travis. Travis looks like the typical Big Brother contestant that you'll see on the show. Now Travis says that part of his strategy is to fly under the radar but usually when people say that they end up doing the opposite but I'm really excited to see how that works out for him so best of luck to you. The second gentleman we get introduced to is Derek F. Derek's interesting because he's actually the son of a very famous boxer, Joe Frazier. I don't know if he's gonna plan on mentioning that to any of the house guests, but that could work to his favor or that could be a disadvantage. Either way, right off the bat, Derek seemed really, really likable. You could just tell that he was so funny. He had a lot of charisma and he's definitely going to be one of the favorites in the house. I can already tell. Best of luck to you, Derek. You got this. The third person we get introduced to is Frenchie, who kind of reminds me of a Donnie 2.0 or really like a Donnie 1.5. Now you can tell right off the bat that Frenchie is a super fan of Big Brother. I'm always excited to see how the super fans play and how they take their strategy from the couch to the house. So best of luck Frenchie. I'm excited to see how you play. And finally we have Xavier. Now Xavier is the is the jock smart lawyer guy. He seems to be a triple threat right off the bat but a lot of times when guys are triple threats they end up being really really cocky and that ends up being their downfall but we'll see how it goes. Best of luck to you. So after they introduced the first four guys they immediately went into this weird puzzle challenge. The whole competition was a little bit boring to watch. It was fun at first but it got competitive but anyway Frenchie ends up winning and he ends up going on to the next round yay and next it's time to introduce the ladies first up is Aza so first of all immediately I had to stand for Aza as soon as I saw her she's a fro baby I'm a fro baby instant love. Aza also had a very strict rule for herself. She said she is coming in and not doing any showmances, honey. None at all. She made it clear off the bat. We'll see how well she sticks to it. I'm rooting for her. Aza sis, I'm rooting for you, girl. Best of luck in there. And then next we have Miss Brittany. Now I'm really, really, really excited to see how Brittany plays because she talks tough. She was talking her shit the whole time, but I am here for it. Go off, Brittany. I'm ready. I'm rooting for you. Side note about Brittany. I love the fact that she came out on stage with athletic wear on. She was like, fuck a heel, fuck a dress, baby. I'm out here to compete. Brittany came out there to compete, period. And then next up was Miss Alyssa. Now, Alyssa kind of reminds me of myself. We're both around the same age. We're both clothing designers. So I'm rooting for her as well. Good luck to you, girl. The last house guest to get introduced was Whitney. Her bio... Honestly, nothing really stood out to me besides the fact that she was a mom and she was there for her kids. Best of luck, go ahead, do your thing. So then after they introduce the next four ladies, those four ladies go and they do a puzzle challenge, the same one, and this time, Whitney ends up winning. So she gets to go on to the next level. The next house guest we have up is Kylan. So Kylan also wasn't really giving me too, too much in his intro, but I will say out of all the other house guests, he definitely seems like the one that I would like actually know and hang out with in real life. He definitely seems like somebody I would have smoked with in high school. Good luck, Kylan. So the next person we have is Christian. So I read Christian's bio online and he wasn't really giving me anything then. He wasn't giving me any personality. But now when I see him, he's still not giving me anything. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It's just, I, uh, he's probably not boring. You're not gonna be boring. Best of luck, Christian. Good luck to you. So the next person we have is Derek X. 
I stand Derek X. He seems like the perfect combination between smart and competitive. Good luck to you, Derek X. Best of luck. And the last guy to enter the Big Brother house is Brent Champagne. And his name is oh so fitting. Brent Champagne gives me like a like a East Coast sack rants. He says that he's gonna try to, you know, use his personality and charm to win people over. But honestly, out of everybody in the house, this guy definitely has the most untrustworthy face to me. But I'm still interested to see how he plays his cards. So Good luck to you, Brent Champagne. So after those four guys come in, you know, they do the puzzle challenge, yada, 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 and Christian ends up winning this time. So next up are the last four ladies to enter the house. The first one is Sarah Beth. Sarah Beth, she was, you know, she's, 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 she's quirky. She's a little quirky, but that's okay. She's fine. Good luck to you, Sarah Beth. You get them, girl. You got this. The next person up is Hannah. Hannah is that bitch. I don't care what nobody says. She came in serving looks and brains. She's the youngest person in the house, so hopefully that doesn't do anything to hold her back. I'm rooting for Hannah, period. Best of luck to you, Hannah. Next up, we have Claire. Now, Claire ended up being a last minute replacement. One of the house guests got COVID and unfortunately couldn't compete. So they brought Claire on. I didn't really get too much from her bio, but she seems really smart. So best of luck, Claire. And the last person that we get introduced to is Tiffany. Now, Tiffany is really, really cocky, but she's also freaking hilarious. Hopefully that cocky cockiness doesn't hold her back at all. She said she wanted to try to win all of the physical competitions in the house, which like, good luck, girl. Good luck. Best of luck to you, Tiffany. Also, did anybody else see that she walks her cat? Like, did anybody else see the cat on the leash? So after the final four ladies got introduced to everybody, they do the puzzle competition, same thing. And this time Claire ends up winning. So the four people that won, now they get to be team captains and they get to choose whoever they want to be on their team. But it's a 50-50 choice. They're going to get shown two different contestants on the slot machine and they get to choose which contestant they want on their team. So after everybody goes and picks their team for the draft, now it's time for the teams to battle for the HOH. After the first HOH competition plays out, the Joker team wins, which means Frenchie is the first HOH. Right now, Frenchie and his whole team, they have safety for the entire week. So overall, that was a really, really exciting premiere. I'm really excited for this cast. This is probably one of the most likable casts that I've seen in a while. And honestly, there's nobody that I'm not rooting for specifically. That'll probably change, but right now, nobody that I'm not rooting for. So what did you guys think of the premiere? Is there anybody that you really like? Is there anybody that you're rooting for this season? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Big Brother coverage this season. It's going to be a good one. I just know it. See y'all next time. Bye. Oh, and by the way, in my humble opinion, Tiffany was the best dressed of the night, like full stop. She was the best dressed. Okay, that's all. Thanks.